Hey Gemini, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your bonus reading as we start to move from March to April. So let's see what messages we get for you today, Gemini. So we have the moon at the bottom of the deck. I feel like a lot of things are starting to become very clear to you. I feel like a lot of things are being revealed. They're coming to the light. Um, you're becoming aware of something that you needed to know. I feel like there's a very important message here for you. Something that just you needed to figure this out. You needed to find out in order to move forward um, in a situation here. We have the Knight of Cups, Five of Swords, the Devil, Knight of Wands, the judgment and the strength. So again, there's something that you really needed to know or it's something you need to know, you know, something that could still be revealed, um, sorry, hidden from you. Uh, but I think that it's coming to the surface very quickly. And again, there's something that is you like you need to know this because I feel like whatever this is, someone has been keeping it from you in order to protect themselves, in order to make themselves appear a certain way. I feel like they don't want your judgment um, to be different. They don't want to kind of lose your faith in them. They don't want to, you know, they don't want you to think differently. They want you to keep the same vision you have of them, the same perspective. They want you to have that. But I feel like you're, you're kind of getting closer to figuring out that things are not as they seem. But I feel like whoever you're dealing with could be a, uh, I was going to say Scorpio, but it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, I feel like somebody here just, they want to be with you. They have emotions, feelings for you, and they don't want you to not have feelings for them. It's it's almost like a selfish energy. I feel like someone here just wants to kind of keep you in their, in their space. Um, but again, I feel like with the devil and the five of swords, there's something here that you don't like about this connection or you don't like about this person. There's something that you don't fully understand. You want to get to the bottom of it, and I feel like you will. Um, there's a, a certain habit, pattern, behavior that they do that kind of always makes you want to fight them. It's, it's like you, you, you deal with them or like you talk to them and then you, you see that, that toxic thing that they do and then it just makes you kind of get angry and now you have an argument and then there's a misunderstanding or miscommunication. So I feel like you're trying to understand um, how to get over that. But again, I also feel like this is something that you're not overlooking anymore. I feel like there was a red flag that you just kept kind of brushing over, giving them the benefit of the doubt. You know, you were pretending like it wasn't there. And I feel like now it's almost like the universe is like, how much more are you going to keep this from yourself? How much more are you going to deny this? You know, you can't be in denial forever. So I think that with the Knight of Wands and the Strength card, I feel like this is saying you have to be... Um, just as willing as you were to turn a blind eye to this person, you have to be strong to kind of see the truth for what it is. And I think that this is coming through in this fiery Knight of Wands energy where it's like you have to be honest with yourself. And yes, it might require you to be brave or, you know, see this from a different perspective, but it's necessary. It's necessary for change. If things, if you want to see things move in a different direction, you have to see it for what it is. Uh, but right now, I feel like you're you're coming to the realization that things are not as they seem. So we have the hermit at the bottom of the deck. Um, again, there's this energy, this message of something being hidden. It's almost like this this truth is coming out like slowly but surely. But it's right there. It's like you you have it right in front of you, but it's like you don't see it. You don't see it clearly. But I feel like you're going to come out of this not knowing to the knowing very, very soon. Um, you could be dealing with an earth sign. It could be a Virgo. Um, we also have the two of cups, the king of pentacles, the world, and the seven of wands with the tower and the eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. To me, this is saying that they're going to tell you. There's going to be a, an event here, a moment, a tower moment where you communicate with this person. You get to the bottom of it. You find out finally what it is you need to know. Um, 
And this communication, I feel like, again, you might confront them. They might confront you. Confront you. It could be out of nowhere that this happens. And it's almost like it takes you by surprise. But at the same time, with the Seven of Wands and the King of Pentacles, this is key to your stability. Because I feel like right now, you're on the defensive. You, you have to stand up for yourself in this situation. Because I feel like you are working hard on your stability. You're working hard on keeping yourself, you know, like maybe you're keeping yourself mentally stable. Uh, but you're also working on your finances. And so you have too much on the line, too much to think about. And so this situation is not only kind of making you feel like you have to be on the defensive, but the fact that you don't know what it is that's going on here, it's almost like it's unnecessary stress because you already have too much going on. You have too much to think about, too many things to, to be on top of. And so this is kind of just creating unnecessary stress where you, you, you're finding yourself like having to, to fight for something here for no reason. Uh, with the Two of Cups in the world, I do feel like once this communication happens, once this kind of gets cleared up, once this conversation occurs, things will move in a positive direction. I just feel like right now there is a need to just tell the truth. Somebody here just needs to tell the truth in order for this relationship to go to the next level and just start over. I feel like you're going to get a restart in this relationship because there is soulmate energy here. There is twin flame or, you know, partner energy. It's like this is someone you're meant to be with. But again, there needs to be a restart. There needs to be a new beginning, a new cycle. Because uh, what's currently happening isn't working. It's almost like the universe is saying, if this doesn't get addressed, if this doesn't get dealt with, if this conversation isn't had, things are not going to move forward. They're either going to reach a standstill or one of, one of you is going to get tired of it. And so right now, I think you are fighting for this. I think you are standing up for this relationship because obviously you care about this person. But again, you're really waiting for this conversation to just happen. You're waiting for them to just tell you the truth. Because I feel like you have a sense that something here isn't right. You just don't know what it is. And you won't know until they reveal it. And that's why I think the moon is here because you're kind of at the mercy of this person's disclosure. You're at the mercy of them wanting to be honest, wanting them to wanting them to tell you the truth. Because I feel like right now, um, with this devil energy, they've been kind of playing games. They've been acting like things are, are fine. They've been acting like there's nothing wrong. But I feel like something is actually going on behind the scenes. So let's see what else. All right, so we do have the star at the bottom of the deck. So um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or really this is saying that there is hope. There is hope for things to change. Things will get better. But again, it really depends on this person coming out and saying it. And it could be you. Maybe you are the one that needs to kind of say something and just tell the truth. Um, with the Nine of Cups and the, the Ten of Wands, I feel like someone here has a lot going on with themselves personally. They're fighting personal battles. They have a lot on their plate. There's a lot that they're holding um, by themselves. And I think it's because they have a little bit of pride or a little bit of an ego where it's like they feel like no one else can help them with their problems. Someone here is really stubborn, hard-headed. Um, you know, it's like they just want to do it all by themselves. And so maybe part of what's hidden is the fact that they have something very serious that they're dealing with. But because of their pride, you know, with the Leo card here, could be dealing with the Leo as well. Because of them trying to be strong and deal with it by themselves, it's, it's revealed after you confront them. Because right now they're hiding it from you. Someone is hiding something from a place of ego, from a place of wanting to just do it by themselves. But they are holding on to something very serious here. But I feel like eventually... Eventually things this you know things break down. Eventually things come to the light because not everyone, you know, no one can hold on to to their pain by themselves all the time. We we eventually need to say what's going on. Eventually we need to come out and just express how we feel, express our burdens, express our, you know, the things that we're holding on to. We can't always carry all of this by ourselves and so I think you or your person is going through this moment here this tower moment where it's like eventually they're gonna break they're gonna burst they're going to um, have to say how they feel otherwise there will be 
quite a bit of toxicity. Again, think about how when you have a lot of emotions and you keep them bottled in, eventually it turns to poison, right? You start to feel sick. You start to feel like, you know, if you don't say it, something bad is going to happen. And I feel like that's what's going on in the situation. It just took a little bit to get there because the energies were kind of all over the place. But I feel like that's what I'm getting here is like someone here is trying to keep it bottled in because um, they don't want to, you know, just, they don't want to appear weak. And so their pride is going to make them sick. I honestly feel like this conversation is going to clear up a lot and then things will move forward because, again, there is hope, but it needs to happen, Gemini. It needs to happen. All right, I'm going to leave it there. If you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like. Please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.